Hi, I'm Tarani Pennerman, founder of the best-selling naturally curly hair care brand, Curly Belt, and host of The Tarani Show, a show where we talk about hair, a woman's crowning glory. I'm so happy that you've allowed us to be a part of your hair care journey, and I hope that you enjoy the show. show on today's episode we're going to talk about the three hair rules for summer so if you don't follow any other like regimen or any other rule for your hair this summer follow these three simple steps that i'm going to talk about so if you're living in a hot climate like i am we're in miami so Miami gets really hot and these past couple of weeks we've been seeing record high temperatures of like a hundred degrees and I'm like what's going on it's not usually this hot so if you're in places like where I'm from the Bahamas where it gets hot but we always have like a little breeze going so it's not that hot these tips are for you or if you're in South America where I know it gets blazing hot or Vegas or California or any of uh, New York. New York gets really hot too. These tips are for you. Because it's summer, we are gonna probably be spending a lot of time outdoors. I know for myself, I'm spending a ton of time outdoors because I have a five-year-old daughter and she just wants to be at the pool all day. If she's not at the pool, she wants to be at the playground. I particularly like to be cool. I like to be in air conditioning but you know we have to do what we have to do to keep the kids entertained guys you would laugh at me if you saw me at the pool like if i can't find a shade or umbrella at the pool i am at the pool with a towel wrapped over me like a sheet or a blanket because i mean yeah i'm dark skin or whatnot but i don't want to be sitting out there and getting burnt like I do not like, I don't see how people just lay out and they're like, oh, we're tanning. I get it. Okay, you're tanning. But when you lay out in the sun and it's like burning your skin, I'm like, what is this about? So I'm literally the lady at the pool with her sunglasses on, with her big straw hat, and I have the towel covering me from here all the way to my feet. It's ridiculous, but you know, I just don't like to be sitting in the sun getting burnt. It's not about getting darker. It's just about, come on now, like, you don't want your skin to feel like it's frying. I don't, I don't get it. I don't, all you people that lay out in the sun, kudos to you. I do not understand. Anyway, let me get back to what we're here to talk about. So these are the three hair rules for summer. Number one is you want to protect. So what protecting your hair looks like is wearing a hat when you're out, when you know you're going to be out in the sun for long periods of time. Target has very good options, you know, of nice, big, pretty straw hats. Just grab a hat and put it on. Even if you have kids and they're going to be in the pool, you want to get them a hat to wear. Because essentially what happens when you're in the sun for a long period of time and your hair is being exposed to heat, it's almost like, I mean, 100 degrees, come on. So it's almost like you're taking a flat iron, right? You know, the, the flat iron we use to straighten our hair and you're just constantly putting it on the hair, just constantly putting it on the hair. That's kind of the same thing that's happening when you're sitting out in the sun for a long period of time. The sun is just frying and just sucking all of the moisture out of your hair and your strands become dry and brittle. Then don't mix chlorine with that. So you've got the chlorine in there, which has all those hard salts that just build up on the hair. So think about the strand like this. So the strand is probably moisturized, right, or not. You're sitting in the sun and then the hair is getting slapped with the chlorine and chlorine has like all these salts in it and it's just sitting on the hair and the sun has taken all the moisture out so your hair is becoming dry, brittle, and fried. So what you wanna do, especially if you have young kids, uh, little girls in particular, put their hair up in a ponytail and then you want to buy like a nice hat 
that, you know, my daughter, she has like a unicorn hat. So buy a nice hat that they can wear while they're in the water. So their hair isn't exposed to all of that sunlight, the UV, the UV rays, and then getting hit with the chlorine, also seawater. So you wanna protect, number one is you want to protect your head. You two moms, wear a nice, you know, floppy straw hat or whatever hats are in now just to protect your hair number two you want to hydrate just like you hydrate you know you don't want to be out in the sun too long and get dehydrated you because actually when you're in the sun and you're sweating you, you're losing water so it's very important that you hydrate right your body so that you don't pass out or faint or whatever or get dizzy right so the same thing you want to be doing with your hair you want to hydrate your hair so if you know you're going to be going out to the pool or to the beach for a long period of time grab your spray bottle and what i like to do is i spray even though i have in braids i go through each section with my spray bottle and i spray my hair at the roots so that it's hydrated with water and you want to be doing this if you have dry hair every single day especially for your kids if you have you know girls or boys you want to just take the water bottle the water spray bottle and just spray it all over the head before going into the pool it doesn't matter if they have a nice hairstyle you don't want to mess a hairstyle up if they have braids you want to be doing this too you want to just like just like i said if they have in like box braids or whatever for the summer or a protective style still spray the scalp and spray the roots of the hair with water that will prevent dehydration of the hair number three condition conditioner is your best friend after you have hydrated the hair with water then you want to apply a conditioner what this conditioner will do is it will seal in the moisture and allow the hydration to stay in to stay in the strands right so it doesn't matter if they have a protective style you can still use conditioner a good way to do it is to put a little bit of conditioner so our thirsty girls leave-in conditioner is a great one because it's very lightweight put a little bit of conditioner in your spray bottle shake it up and then spray the scalp and spray the hair or if your child has more thick hair or if they're wearing their curls out and they have on a wash and go, you can use our papaya avocado curl milk. This will refresh the hair and it will moisturize it and it keep the curls clump and keep the curls hydrated while you're out, you know, in the, in the summer heat at the pool or at the beach. Another great conditioner I like to use on my daughter is our mango guava conditioner. This conditioner is a bit thicker. It's great for people with type three hair or type four hair. So you want to put this condition, it's a rinse out conditioner, but you can use it as a leave-in conditioner. I find that for type three, type four hair, this works really good as a leave-in conditioner. So you want to take this, put hydrate it, and then put the mango guava conditioner on the hair. So the difference between these two is this is a refresher, this is a rinse out conditioner, but I like to use it as a leave-in conditioner and a styler. This is also a styler and a leave-in conditioner. So it's up to you, you can get both and see which one you wanna leave in, see which one you wanna use as a styler. But these are great. These three actually are your best friends for mom, for dad, for boys, and for your little girls for the summer to keep the hair hydrated and to keep the hair conditioned so you want to grab really good conditioners they are all water-based so they're great hydrators when it comes to keeping the hair moisturized and hydrated so we got thirsty curls mango guava and papaya so these are your best friends so the three hair rules for summer is number one you want to protect your hair because you're going to be out in the heat and it's just like taking a flat iron and running it all through your hair and just keep running it. If you're sitting in the sun for long periods of time, the sun is just frying and taking the moisture out of your hair. Number two, you want to hydrate the hair. What hydrating the hair looks like is grabbing your spray bottle with water every day and spraying your hair. Even if you have braids on, protective style, you want to spray the scalp and you want to spray the roots with water to get the hydration into the strands. And number three, you want to condition. Always condition your conditioning every single day, 
especially if you have young kids that are going to summer camp, they're gonna be out in the sun, or they're gonna be at the pool, on the playground, wherever the sun is gonna be in contact with their hair. You want to be conditioning their hair every day to avoid fried, brittle, dry, damaged hair. I hope that this was helpful to you. Have a great day.